Hi, it's Robin Samora with the Fast Marketing Minute. I'm your marketing and PR expert here to help you grow your business and brand. Are you on the fence about creating an audiobook? As long as your book isn't full of images or photo that carry the story, it may be a good idea to expand your outreach and grow sales. Let's look at four reasons why you should turn your book into an audiobook if you haven't already. First, recent stats show that one out of five Americans listen to audiobooks. Everybody's busy, so audiobooks give people who don't have time to read a chance to listen whenever they feel like it, while driving, exercising, or even cleaning the house. Second, Creating an audiobook is also relatively inexpensive. You can pay a service a couple of thousand dollars to do it, or for a whole lot less, outsource the project to Fiverr or Upwork. If you're brave, you can record it yourself. And if you want to do it bare bones, all you need is a decent mic, a closet with hanging clothes, and some free audio editing software. I use Audacity for my podcast. Plus, who doesn't want to hear an audiobook recorded by the writer? You can also look online if you don't want to narrate yourself. Third, creating an audiobook also cuts down on printing costs. If you have an audiobook, it's always in stock. It's a click away. All your readers have to do is download your book. Then you don't have to worry as much about overprinting copies of your book and getting stuck with the inventory. And lastly, audiobooks also give you audio snippets to use for marketing and promotional advertising. Take sound bites and create short video ads, social posts, or use them on your website to promote your book. Repurpose your content with intentions. Audiobooks are yet another example of your owned media. Plus, I didn't mention that libraries love to buy audiobooks. I'm Robin Samora with the Fast Marketing Minute. If you're looking for ways to engage your target audience, download a copy of 96 Content Marketing Ideas to start a conversation. It's at robinsamora.com backslash 96 Content Ideas. Talk tomorrow.